All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about microtransactions because a pretty important CEO in the gaming industry has recently done an interview and they had some interesting things to say, to say the least, about this situation. I, I was kind of flabbergasted in a way when I saw this because obviously, like, I know in the gaming industry microtransactions, let's be honest, they've taken over, they're doing their thing right, you know, people are putting them everywhere. It's not like they're trying to hide hide the fact that the gaming industry has gone the way of microtransactions, but I didn't expect for them to be so, uh, what's the word, loud about it? I guess is the best word to put it. Uh, so basically this CEO said one of the most actually ridiculous dumbfounding things I've ever heard be said. And to be honest with you, I'm not totally surprised necessarily once I found out where this guy worked before his current job. And that's because this guy is actually the former CEO of which company? I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a trivia here at the beginning of the video. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what you think. Did he work for A, Rockstar Games? Games, B, Bethesda, C, Electronic Arts, or EA, or D, Activision. Well, to be honest, those are all four kind of companies that have prioritized microtransactions to a ridiculous extent, so it really could be any of them. But to give you the answer just straight up, he worked at EA. And if you know anything about the company EA, not only do they love their microtransactions, but uh, they've also been voted America's worst company repeatedly. So yeah, this guy, uh, he's got a real track record, man. He's got a real track record. So basically, the CEO has determined that if, you know, you're in the video game industry, uh, if you're basically like making video games in any way and you're not thinking about implementing monetization aka microtransactions you're a fucking idiot and i mean that literally he actually said that so former ea ceo john ricciatello has spoken up about microtransactions in video games saying what while those who avoid implementing my monetization early on in the creative process are some of the quote most beautiful and pure brilliant people they are also some of the biggest fucking idiots Richatello is now the CEO of Unity Technologies and he spoke to PocketGamer.biz about this topic following the announcement of Unity and Iron Source's upcoming merger. When asked about the pushback that some developers have given regarding implementing monetization early on in developing a game, Richatello did not hold back. So to give a little bit of context to what he's saying, he's not specifically speaking about, like, I guess, fans in the gaming industry that dislike microtransactions. Probably because you'd have to legitimately be a fucking idiot to not understand why people don't like microtransactions. Like, I feel like that's just so understandable. But also because I'm sure that that would have created a hellstorm 100 times worse than what he's seeing now. And let's be honest, he's already getting crapped on for this. I mean, people are already, you know, sharing what they have to say about this situation and everything. And I guess... Yes, I'm involved in that wave of people as well, but I just wanted to talk about this because I think it's one of the most ridiculous takes I've ever heard. So I haven't said this in a YouTube video, but I'm actually working on a small video game project myself. It's an old school RPG game with its original story and everything. To be honest, if you want to follow updates on all of my game development and stuff like that, you can follow me over on Twitter at Subdoptimus. I've been tweeting out near daily with new stuff that I've been talking about with the game and stuff like that. So you can kind of get an idea of what's going on over there. But with that being said, and as someone who went to school for programming and everything, uh, I kind of have some background knowledge about video game design and the entire gaming industry. I mean, it's a gaming industry in general that I've been a part of since I was like three years old at this point, man. So I definitely feel like I can kind of talk on this uh, from a different perspective than most people, but this is obviously one of the dumbest takes that I've ever heard from somebody in the gaming industry. So I guess his point is that, well, since microtransactions are so profitable and they make developers so much money that you'd have to be an idiot to not consider them, right? Which, you know, it makes sense, but it's a massively oversighted comment to make. It doesn't consider like 99.9% .9 of the reason why game developers choose to not put microtransactions in their game. It ignores pretty much the fundamental dislike of microtransactions by audiences. And in general, it's just a stupid comment to make as the CEO of a company. So Ferrari and some of the other high-end car manufacturers still use clay and car 
carving knives, Richitello said. It's a very small portion of the gaming industry that works that way, and some of these people are my favorite people in the world to fight with. They're the most beautiful and pure, brilliant people. They're also some of the biggest fucking idiots. I've been in the gaming industry longer than most anybody, getting to the gray hair and all that. It used to be the case that developers would throw their game over the wall to the publicist and sales force with literally no interaction beforehand. That model is baked into the philosophy of a lot of art forms and medium, and it's one I'm deeply respectful of. I know their dedication and care, but this industry divides people between those who still hold to that philosophy and those who massively embrace how to figure out what makes a successful product. And I don't know a successful artist anywhere that doesn't care about what their player thinks. This is where the cycle of feedback comes back and they can choose to ignore it. But to choose to not know it is not know it at all is not a great call. I've seen great games fail because they turned their compulsion loop to two minutes when it should have been an hour. Sometimes you wouldn't even notice the product difference between a massive success and tremendous fail, but for this tuning and what it does to the attrition rate, there isn't a developer on the planet that wouldn't want that knowledge. Some developers were upset by Richitello's comments. Last night, developer Tim Soar tweeted that he was, quote, destroying the unity we all loved. Metal Hellsinger developer David Goldfarb called it a, quote, fairly dramatic shitting of the bed even by CEO standards. So, obviously the reaction hasn't been necessarily great to these comments, and rightfully so because it's fucking stupid. So, the reason that a lot of game developers don't want to include microtransactions into their product is because they realize that if they just create a good like a good video game, a game that's fun to play, that has enjoyable stuff to do in it, and they just charge people a fair price for it and they don't cut 60% of the content out of their game and lock it behind paywalls and DLC and stuff like that, that they can actually make people happy and they can produce good video games. The problem with the philosophy that this guy Richitello is subscribed to is he really only cares about and sees video games for the money and what he can get out of them. He doesn't care about making a video game as a passion project. He doesn't care about making a video game to tell a story or to create something original or to bring a new idea to the table or to create one of his brain children in a legitimate form, right? He, he cares about them because if he sells $150 million worth of games next quarter, he's getting a big raise. So for him to come after developers who make the active choice to make a better product and make the consumer more happy with that product because they don't fucking immediately chase the paper trail, not only in my opinion is very insulting and ridiculous, but it makes this guy look like a complete asshole. Look, bud, if you don't care about making a video game for fun or care about making a video game because you want to make a game, I get it, right? You know, you've seen the profits of these AAA titles. You've seen what it's like to work in these studios and everything. I get that. But don't come after small game developers and people making the conscious decision to not monetize the piss out of their games because they care about their products in a different way. For instance, with my game, what I have planned right now is like 10 hours of content or more and you pay like seven bucks. I think that's pretty fair. I'm going to be honest with you. I think creating an RPG that you can complete side quests, main quests, mini bosses, dungeons, uh, treasure hunting, bounty hunting, all kinds of different things in and, and charging people a fair price for it, I think is a good idea. And let's be honest, like in my position as a game developer right now, I absolutely could create 25 DLC for my game. I could absolutely create 30 minute packs of content for $2.99. I could absolutely go that route like a lot of these game developers developers would go, but I'm not going to do that because in my opinion, I don't think that's what I want to do with my product. And you know what? If you don't like that, then go fuck yourself. That's what I have to say. Look, I'm going to be honest. I don't care how much experience you have in the industry. I don't care what companies you've worked at. If you don't see video games as an art form and you don't see it as a way to tell a story or create a medium with your audience, then to be honest with you, your opinion doesn't fucking matter to me. As someone who's played video games my entire life, as someone who's had video games literally give me my dream career in a way, as someone who's working on his own video game as we actively speak, I, I simply just don't subscribe to this ideology that video games have to be profitable. For To be completely honest with you, if my game makes a hundred bucks, even though I'm putting dozens if not hundreds of hours into making it, I'm absolutely okay with that. You know why? Because I'm making a game because I fucking enjoy it. Because I think it would be cool. I think it would be fun. I have fun making games. I have fun doing cool stuff like that. If you always only see literally everything by the dollar sign that it can produce, what joy and satisfaction do you genuinely get out of life? Thank you.
even when you're doing your job, if you only see it as money, right? Like, how do you find fulfillment in your career? And, and to be honest, I, I want to bring up a, a really good point here, I think, okay? So I know I've hyped up Elden Ring and I've fucking, you know, given this game so much praise over so many different videos, but Elden Ring is a perfect example of what I'm saying. The developers of that game took the time to create a polished, beautiful piece of art. They charged industry standard price for it. They didn't lock content behind exclusive DLC. They provided a straight up adventure that you can play for dozens of hours and have fun in, charged a fair price for it, gave you the complete product at launch, and that was the end of it. You didn't have to pay $60 and then pay $250 more to get all the DLC and play the full game, then spend $1,000 on other microtransactions to get all the pay to win items in the game. And it's actually one of the best selling games of the last few years and it was critically acclaimed by both fans and the critics themselves. When was the last time EA put out a game as good as Elden Ring? When was the last time, you know, any company that this guy can even think of, when was the last time they put out a game as good as Elden Ring? There's very few companies in the gaming industry that consistently put out beautiful projects and include fair monetization practices in them. It just doesn't happen that often. And if you care about the art form, if you care about the passion of making video games, then absolutely monetizing the shit out of it isn't going to have to be your immediate first thought. Now, do I have a problem with creators, you know, making beautiful polished games and then putting DLC? and then putting good products and microtransactions in them? Absolutely not. If you want to make a great product like Elden Ring and then you want to have a DLC pass for $50 that includes extra content that isn't content cut from the game, I absolutely have no problem with that. I think that's all fine. But to sit here and pretend like every developer on the planet has to be thinking of which way they can add fucking loot boxes to their game or nickel and dime the audience and telling them if they don't do that, they're a fucking idiot. Why don't you step down off your high horse a little bit and shut up? So with that being said, thank you guys for for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubTheOptimus. If you'd like more updates and to contribute to the conversation surrounding my upcoming project, uh, you can do that over on my Twitter. I would be really interested in talking to you guys about that. If you have any questions for me about my game, I'll do my best to answer those as well. Go ask them over on Twitter. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about what this guy said and signing out.